Okay, here we will talk about the second method to do a QR factorization and it will be done using the householder householder that's H transformation. So here I will uh, implement the algorithm. I have done other videos about the intuition, so where how you come on this formula. So remember that the also the transformation is given by H equals the identity matrix minus two times V uh, V transpose. If V is already a unit vector, otherwise you have to divide it by V transpose V. Okay, I have done videos where I, I explained this. Okay, uh, let me write that a bit better. Okay, and so uh, if you want to find the QR factorization of a matrix, let's say you have your matrix um, with the first column vector, the second, let's say we are in three dimensions. Uh, basically, you want to find the vector v, so you find your householder transformation, and then you will apply it to a. Um, remember, our goal is to get uh, an upper triangle matrix R. Okay, uh, we will apply householder transformations to the matrix A. Um, and basically what it does is every transformation it makes all entries of a vector except one uh, equals to zero okay um, that's our goal okay um, yeah. Uh, so the procedure is as follow: you to find v for the first column vector, so a one. You take your column vector a one, and then you subtract it. The you subtract the length of it, so the norm times the first unit vector e one. Uh, so okay, so e one, you know the the unit vector here. We are in three dimensions, so it will be one zero zero. Okay, uh, then you get some vector vector u, and v if it's a unit vector, uh, then v will be equal to u divided by its length, simply. Uh, if you don't do that step, you can also use the household transformation, but as said, you then have to divide by V transpose V, okay, if V isn't uh, a unit vector. Uh, then, so you get your vector V, then you know your first household transformation. Uh, let's call it V1, maybe and u1 it will be identity minus 2 times v1 v1 transpose okay uh, and so you if you apply it to your matrix a you get a1 which will be equal to some element here then zeros and the other column vectors are unchanged okay uh, now, so we have A1, we want to, remember our goal is to get an upper triangle matrix where there are zeros below the diagonal, okay? Uh, the problem is now, if we consider the entire second column vector, 
we will get if you do if you do the house of the transformation we will get the first element and then the other elements and are zeros but we don't want that uh, because we only one here we are in three dimensions we only want the last element of the vector to be zero so that we get an upper triangle matrix which in this case should be the following uh, sorry remember that okay so what we will do is we will only consider the sub matrix okay um, so if we only consider the sub matrix uh, we will only consider the vectors of the sub matrix which in this case will be in two dimensions it will be the second and third component of the original vector then if we apply the transformation the household transformation the last element will be zero and the second element of the original vector will remain unchanged basically that's what you want to do and to do that um, your household transformation that you will you will apply to to A um, your household transformation will be given by um, you put one ones in the diagonals uh, uh, if the one is in a vector that isn't in the sub matrix so here our first column vector of A isn't in the sub matrix so we will put a 1 in the diagonal of the matrix and then there will be zeros uh, and there will also be zeros in the first row okay and then your sub, -mat um, sub matrix here here you will input the household transformation that you do if you only consider the sub matrix uh, I hope it's clear uh, so basically you, as I said, you um, you will only consider the vectors of the submatrix, and so you household the transformation. Uh, you will do the same computation. You will take, uh, let's call it a two prime, which is the vector, but of the submatrix. So it will have two elements here because you are in three dimensions. A two prime minus the length of a2 prime times the second unit vector e2 but here we are in two dimensions because we only consider the submatrix and so we are in two we are in two dimensions so it will be 1 0 and not uh, 0 1 0 okay i hope i don't disturb you too much um and so, uh, sorry, that's will, that will be equal to your uh, vector u. Let's call it u two prime. Uh, and so, your vector v two prime will be u two prime over its length. Okay, so that's a u, not the v. Okay. Then you have your household transformation, but now in two dimensions. Um, and so that's what you will input here. Okay, here will, you will get a um, two by two matrix. Um, yeah. And so you will input it here. And then you will get the household transformation that you will apply to uh, that you will apply to A. Okay, so we have again the same number of dimensions. Uh, the ones in the diagonal, uh, they 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 will make sure that the first column vector will remain unchanged. Okay.
so that we don't get again non-zero elements in the first column vector. And so if you want to do it in n dimensions, um, <coughs> um, you will always, uh, if you have already reduced some elements, I don't know how many elements there are, you will always consider the sub matrix, okay? Uh, and find the householder trans transformation according to that, okay? And uh, the householder transformation will then be given by uh, the real householder transformation. You will put once. Uh, in the diagonal and then you will input your house law transformation and that's what you will apply to your uh, matrix okay uh, yeah so that's how you do it and so finally you will get your uh, upper triangle matrix if you apply all house law transformations to A and so remember that A is equal to QR and that Q transpose A is equal to R. And so uh, all these householder transformations, the product of them will be equal to Q transpose. So Q will be equal to the transpose of this product. So here it will be H1 transpose, H2 transpose. Remember you flip the order when you transpose. Okay, so remember the formula, it is H is given by the identity matrix minus 2 times V, V transpose, or divided by V transpose V if it's not already a unit vector. Um, and you find V by uh, taking, by uh, taking your column vector, uh, so it's called a n minus the length of it times the um, the unit vector. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, you will get some vector u, and then uh, if you want to make a unit vector, you just divide it by its length. Okay. Uh, also, why you let it that way, but then you have to divide by v transpose v, as I said. Uh, then u will already be your vector v, but again, you have to divide then, divide then. Um, and yeah, you. Uh, once you consider the second and third and fourth and so on, a col column vector of your matrix, you uh, take into you you consider the sub matrices okay that that's important you consider the sub matrices um, and so you only consider the vectors in the sub matrices and then your uh, householder transformation you will put ones in the diagonal and then your householder transformation you did if you only consider the sub matrix Okay, I hope it's clear. I hope I didn't disturb you too much. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. That's how you compute the algorithm.